brings it back over to the shop and says, so how does the clutch work again? Hey guys, it's a quick hit Moto Stories Bunky Phil. We're gonna drop these little quick, little fast ones on you every once in a while. Uh, tell a story, a real quick story about when people get their bike for the very first time, the first time they turn that key, the first time they start that motor up, the first time they leave the, the front of my shop. And I'm telling you, the, the joy, the ecstasy of seeing somebody leave on that bike that they just bought is the greatest feeling in the world. But I've learned that I look away. I don't look anymore. I used to watch. I used to watch them carefully, hope the best. They're gonna go out and enjoy their adventure. One of our great friends, Tom, he bought his bike with the intention of riding it cross country. Um, he had people to see all over America and he bought that bike brand new and she picked it up at my shop, ready to rock and roll. Gets out in front of the shop, pulls the clutch in, cracks the throttle up to about 9 million, drops the clutch in, wheelies all the way across West 25th Street. I mean like, insane wheelie, like you can't believe, across four lanes of traffic, misses a police car by no more than eight inches, nearly hits the pole, a light pole across the street, somehow gets control of the bike, handlebars in the air like Pee Wee Herman, gets the bike on the ground and gets it in control. And you gotta know Tom, Tom can take it in stride. And he looks at the bike and he looks down and he looks around, looks for witnesses. The cop has stopped, the cop kind of gives him that look and realizes, all right, we don't need to get involved. And the cop leaves. Tom gets back on the bike, starts it, brings it back over to the shop and says, so how does the clutch work again? <laughs> that can happen. That's a real thing. And then the other one, a lady comes out, just got done with the Harley Davidson uh, training program. That means she was riding Harley Davidson's or, you know, Buell's or something. And she shows up and she's on a 250 cc automatic and she's out in front of the store and I can't tell her anything. She knows everything. She took the class. So I'm trying to explain to her, this bike's actually got some go. It'll get up and run. And she's, I don't know. So, you know, once again, she gets the bike, revs the living tar out of it and pushes it off the stand when it's at about 6,000, 7,000 RPM. I've never seen a bike clear four lanes of traffic so fast. Front wheel in the air, bike goes shooting across the intersection directly into a parked minivan that had about six kids in it. And wouldn't you know, every single one of those kids suffered a neck injury or a head injury or something like that, even though they were in the van and there was a dent in the side of the van about that big, but my insurance company really loved that one. So just keep in mind, that first ride. Be aware, if you've never taken a ride before and you're thinking about making one your first, best to get you into a, practice, a parking lot first and take it nice and easy. Don't just go out onto a major state rep to start the game. Mr. Oh. Waters, I yes. think it's the end of your stay here tonight. Um, well, I gotta finish my drink. I can't, can't leave here with this on the bar, so I'll be done in a second, sir. Well, with that, remember to ride fast and take chances. Look us up, Moto Stories with Unky Phil at gmail.com and subscribe because we drop these things about every week. Take care.